the bill card. This credit card claims you can pay rent to get free vacations, workouts, nights out, or exclusive home decor. All at no cost to you. Damn, that's interesting. Honestly, I've been waiting for this card ever since it was announced and I signed up for their waitlist. Fortunately, there's no more waitlist. And now you can put this card in your pocket. But how they did it though, I don't know if I agree with, but whatever, it worked out. In this video, I'll be breaking down everything about the bill card. What I think about the bill card since using it to pay rent and some other features I'm surprised many more people aren't talking about. I'll have chapters in this video, so so skip around to the section that is most relevant to you. First, what are the multipliers of this card? Well, it's a 321 credit card. You'll earn three times points on dining, so this would include restaurants, drinking places, bakeries, fast food, and similar purchases like that. Basically, anything that codes as dining for MasterCard, because this is a MasterCard. Not only dining, but if you book through the World Elite MasterCard luxury hotels and resorts, you will also get three times points. You'll get two times points on travel, like airplane tickets, hotels, resorts, cruises, if you aren't scared of doing that, and car rentals. Interestingly enough from my understanding, some things don't count as travel, and that would be buses, metros, taxis, limos, rideshares, ferries, timeshares, travel agencies, even the online ones, real estate, vacation rentals like Airbnb, campgrounds, boats, toll bridges, parking lots, and garages. Which is a huge bummer, because I often use taxis, metros, and rideshares. Those are some of the highest spending I do when I travel. Unless it's different in real life use, I haven't used a card too much, but chase cards are way more lenient on what codes as travel. And then the last category is for everything else you buy with this card, which includes what this card is famous for, rent. So for rent, when using the built portal to pay for rent using the built credit card, you don't have to pay any transaction fees, which is usually around 3%. And most importantly, you'll earn points up to 50,000 points per year on each dollar you pay towards rent. That cap isn't really that big a deal. If you exceed the cap, that would mean you would be paying about $4,200 on rent. And if you have a player too that signs up for the built card, technically your cap would be 100,000 points if you split rent between both credit cards. That would be about $8,400 on rent. And if you're paying more than this on rent? I guess that's sucks. The cap is 100,000 points if you have two people. What else can I say? There is a catch though on receiving points on rent. I personally don't mind it, but hey, I'm not you. You have to make at least five transactions per month, not including rent. The reason I don't mind this limitation is because of the 3% dining category and their transfer partners. The way I look at it, I can use the built card to replace my chase cards, which earns 3% on dining, and still transfer my points to Hyatt, which values around two cents per point. And worst, worst case scenario, I can just go to some place with a self-checkout and buy five cheap things I already like like for example Reese cups. Not that big a deal in my opinion. Because yeah, I could look at it as forced spending, but for buying 5 to $10 worth of candy and getting one point per dollar and getting points on rent, for me that would mean I spent about $10 on a pack of Reese's and got about 2,010 points that are valued around 40 bucks. A $30 profit I wouldn't have gotten without the built credit card. I see it as a win. Even better if you could create 5 transactions naturally. But if for some reason you forget to make 5 transactions, you'll still get 250 points. Which is the same amount you would get without this card. But I'm really encouraging you to make the 5 transactions. Oh yeah, that reminds me in the fine print, if your rent is less than $250, you'll still get 250 points for rent. So that's pretty cool. Pretty sure you don't need the card if your rent is that low, just use the portal. One huge downside with the points though is you can't get cash back. The only sort of way is to use your points towards rent, but it's at a terrible rate of 55% of a penny or basically half a penny per point. That would mean if you had 100 points, instead of that normally being $1, it would be 55 cents. But I personally don't mind not being able to get cash back. I would much rather have access to their exclusive transfer travel partners, which would easily get me more value per point. Their impressive transfer travel partners at a 1 to 1 ratio include American Airlines, Aeroplan, Hawaiian Airlines, Virgin, Turkish Airlines, IHG, High it, Emirates, Flying Blue, which is Air France and KLM, Asia Miles, and United. With American Airlines and Hyatt being one of the most exclusive and one of the highest valued points. Built having these transfer partners, I could easily see getting value of 2 cents per point. Because many of these transfer partners are similar to Chase's UR points and MX's MR points, which also on average are valued up to 2 cents per point. As you can tell, I'm fairly impressed by their ability to snag the transfer partners they did. But let's say for some strange reason you didn't want to transfer your points out. What are your other options? Well, you can redeem your built points for fitness classes or subscriptions at SoulCycle, Solid Core, Y7, and Rumble Boxing. Which is cool, I've always wanted to take a boxing class. But unless you had nothing else to spend your points on, I wouldn't redeem your points for a fitness class. 
For example, rumble boxing in New York City, according to this one article, costs $34, but Built wants you to use 3600 points, which could be worth up to $72. In my opinion, I would rather use the Built card to pay for the class and redeem my points for travel, because they could be worth so much more. But it's a better option than using your points to pay for rent. Okay, fine, maybe all those options we already talked about don't work for you. Well, another unique option is to use your points towards buying a real life home. That's pretty impressive in my book. So how it works is according to an article Built produced, you'll get pre-approved for a mortgage and compare rates across different banks and pick the one that works best for you. I'm not really sure how this works, but it really sounds like a third party website where you can compare different mortgage rates, similar to the Chase Travel Portal or like the Zebra that compares different car insurance plans. After you select a mortgage you want, you can then transfer your points towards a down payment on the mortgage, which could have a value of 1.5 cents per point. All you have to do is email the Bill Customer Experience Team at downpayments at Bill rewards.com. One thing that concerns me is up to 1.5 cents per point. Not each point is worth 1.5. So I think it could be two things. First, depending on the mortgage lender you choose, like for example, they give you a better rate on Rocket Mortgage, but less of a rate if you take out a mortgage with Chase. Second, it could be the price of the home. The higher the mortgage, the more points are worth, and the reverse. The higher the mortgage, the less points are worth. Either way, this is a neat option, but I would still rather transfer the points out as travel and save the money I would have spent booking those trips instead. But maybe you're thinking those are some terrible ways to redeem your points. If there was only some way you could redeem your points for a Jenga board game set that is made out of marble, you wouldn't believe this, but you're in luck. On the Built app, there's a store called the Built Collection. It's basically an exclusive artsy fartsy home decor store and every quarter they change what they have. With the Built Collection, you can redeem your points for exclusive artworks that are pretty cool for 20,000 points. A fragrance tag, whatever that means in is for, for 2,500 points. A meditation pebble for 15,000 points, damn. And a spoopy Dracula candle for 10,000 points. I'm not going to judge because I've seen way worse home decor go for way more. If these exclusive home decors really does bring you joy, awesome. I hope you enjoy it. Just a warning though, you'll have to pay shipping on whatever you choose and it should arrive in 7 to 14 business days and there are no returns. Honestly, if I had enough points and it wasn't sold out, I might have honestly tried to get the Crosley turntable. I've always wanted a nice turntable, but probably not if it's the same turntable I could buy directly from the site for 100 bucks. So the build collection is cool, but I probably wouldn't get anything from there. But wait, we aren't done with the build points yet. There are also status tiers you could earn similar to airline or hotel statuses with the build program. The first status is blue, which is the basic tier you start out at. At this tier, you can transfer your points to airlines and hotels, have access to the built collection, and build credit history by reporting on-time rent payments. All you have to do is sign up for an account with Built, and you don't even need the credit card. However, the climb tiers, the credit card makes it a heck of a lot easier. The next status is silver. At this tier, you'll get all the same benefits as the blue tier, but you'll also get a 10% incentive bonus on signing the lease at participating properties. So if your rental property is willing to give you 10,000 Built points if you sign the lease, Built will give you an extra 1,000 points. And now you can earn interest on points based on the FDIC national savings rate. So for example, if you had an average daily point balance of 50,000 points in a 30 day period and the national average saving rate is 0.06, then you'll earn an extra 30 points that month. Basically the silver tier, you'll have more ways to earn extra points. All you have to do is earn 25,000 points in a calendar year. The welcome bonus and any other method of gathering points works towards that status. The next tier is gold. At this tier, you'll get all the benefits of the lower tiers, but instead of a 10% bonus, it'll increase to 25% incentive bonus on signing the lease from participating properties. And you'll have access to a home ownership concierge, which is just a line to help you buy a home and what you need to do towards that goal. Which is fine, but doesn't sound entirely useful. Isn't that why real estate agents cost so much? But if you want to get gold status, you'll have to earn any way you can 50,000 points in a calendar year. The next and highest status is platinum. At this tier, you'll get all the benefits of everything else we talked about, but instead of a 25% bonus, you'll get a 50% incentive point bonus on signing the lease from participating properties. And a free gift, which would either be home decor or art that I would hope would be pretty neat because to reach this tier you would need to gather up to a hundred thousand points any way you can so either spending a hundred thousand dollars or thirty three thousand three hundred and thirty four dollars on dining unless you get a nice lease bonus or welcome bonus still it would be a lot of money to spend but now that we gone over the point structure for the built card what are the actual features of this card and let me tell you they're pretty impressive so the built card is a world elite master card so it has many of the normal benefits the world elite master cards 
members have, like 3 free months subscription to Dash Pass along with $5 for the first 2 orders in the month, 5% back on HelloFresh orders to use on future purchases, every 3 rides you take with Lyft you'll get a $5 credit for your next ride, and a free Shop Runner subscription. But some of the most interesting benefits include cell phone protection. So if you use the bill card to pay for your cell phone bill, you'll get up to a $800 worth of protection after a $25 deductible, which isn't that big of a deal, for damage or theft. This is a pretty valuable benefit. Most protection plans for smartphones usually cost around $10 a month. By holding this card, you're basically saving $120 a year if you take advantage of this benefit. Also, you get purchase security when you buy things using this card. So cover for theft and damage within 90 days of the date of purchase, up to $1,000 per claim, and $50,000 a year. The information from their sources contradict each other. But if it is $10,000, that's getting to Sapphire Reserve and Amex Platinum level of protection. But I really think they meant $1,000, which isn't terrible. But it doesn't stop there. There's also trip cancellation and interruption protection. It will cover up to $1,500 reimbursement per trip and $5,000 per year for non-refundable fares if your trip has been interrupted or canceled for a covered reason when you purchase your trip using the built card. Also, you'll get trip delay as well, and you'll get reimbursed for expenses including meals up to $250 and $500 maximum per year when your trip has been delayed by bad weather or breakdown or air traffic control delays for only after 6 hours. Let me remind you that Chase Sapphire Prefer requires a 12 hour delay before you can use trip delay on the preferred. Another benefit you would also get is primary rental car collision damage waiver. Bill is seriously destroying it in the insurance department of credit cards. But that isn't all the travel benefits you can access. You will also have access to the World Elite MasterCard Luxury Hotels and Resorts. And it's really similar to the fine hotels and resorts. You will get free daily breakfast for two, a special menu credit up to $100, $250 if you go to a resort, room upgrade if available, early check-in and late checkout if available, and for resorts you will get a welcome package and be upgraded to VIP status with lounge access at some resorts. And the cherry on top is if you book a luxury hotel stay if it's a 3 star or higher and it's not working out, they'll find you another comparable hotel. And if you find the same exact prepaid hotel stay for less, you'll be refunded the difference. How awesome a benefits does those sound? Pretty awesome in my opinion. But what is this all gonna cost you? I mean, these are a lot of benefits they are offering you. Usually these cards start at $95 and goes towards $695 nothing. That's right, a $0 annual fee along with no foreign transaction fees. There's almost no reason not to get this card. But maybe everything I said isn't enough. How does the welcome bonus sound? Have I got your attention? So it's not officially posted on their website. I think the welcome bonus varies by property. But the welcome bonus I received was emailed to me after I applied for the card. If I spend $1,000 on non-rent purchases, I would earn 10,000 points. And I think everyone gets the 2 times points on everything for the first month. Not bad on a no annual fee credit card. However, someone else I saw, they said they only received a thousand point sign up bonus, so I don't really know what the exact welcome bonus will be like for you. Still worth a try in my opinion. The card doesn't cost anything, and getting extra points on rent was really appealing to me. And now maybe you want the card. Do you also want to see the application process too? Because I do have footage of me applying for and getting approved for the built credit card. So first, just a warning. Built sends a ton of emails. This is what my email invite looked like. Now for the application process, they'll ask whether you want to sign up for the built credit card or just sign up for the portal. Of course, choose the built MasterCard if you want the credit credit card and click continue. If you scroll down, these are all the perks that we've talked about earlier. Then just fill out your name, phone number, email, address, your birthday, social security number, choose if you rent, own, or live rent free, and what is your main source of income. Just like any standard credit card application. Check the two boxes and click continue. Then the terms will appear. Read over that and click confirm and submit application. And it's that easy. Do you happen to get a credit limit that is lower than your rent or just don't want to have such a large transaction on your credit card? You can activate built protect. With this feature, when you go to pay rent, the funds will automatically be taken out of your bank within 48 hours, with the ability to still use your full available credit limit. And you'll still earn points on rent. So what about the physical built card? You'll get the card they claim in 7 to 14 business days, but for me, I applied on Friday and received my card on Monday. I upload a video of me unboxing the built card if you want to check that out. The card is metal by the way, in case you wanted to know. I know people shit on metal cards, but I love metal cards. I don't care what they say. It feels nice. Oh, also, you can start using the credit card same day after you've been approved if you put the card in your digital wallet when you download the app. Speaking about the app, it's a really well designed app. The rent portal and the credit card is all in one app, which is really convenient. However, the credit card tab needs some work. I don't like how a new page pops up when I want to view my transactions and statement, which is whatever. If I could design it, I would put transactions on a different tab and maybe if you wanted to open up the app or just that tab, you'll have to use a password or ID to open it up, but still have it built into the app. But maybe I'm too picky. To the left of the statement button is the ability to view your virtual card. That's a handy feature if you don't have your card or just too lazy to get up and find your wallet. I really am personally enjoy this feature for 
or any credit card. And here are all the benefits of the card. In the account tab, you can check your status and how close you are to the next tiers and see your point activity. On the bottom, there are some FAQ, but also some support options. Oh, by the way, this card also comes with a concierge service. Don't know if I mentioned that in the World Elite benefits. Anyways, you have multiple support options. You can leave an email, chat with support, or text support, which is great to see multiple different options. And of course, you have the original way of just calling the number on the back of the card. The pay rent tab is just like what it sounds like it is. This is where you would pay for rent. Just click on make a payment, go through the steps, easy. This would be the same place you would make your payments even if your rental place doesn't take built. You would have to pay through the app like how I did, but instead of it being simple, you'll have extra steps. So go to the portal you would normally pay rent and choose you want to add a new checking account. Then go back to the built app and click on complete rent payment setup or set up online rent payments. Then follow the steps and built will give you a routing number and an account number you can put into your rental portal as a checking account. Then choose the amount you need to pay and that's about it. And just to be safe, make sure you complete this process three days at least before your rent due date. Just to be safe since this is out of network. If your rental place doesn't have an online portal, it's also no problem. Just choose to send a paper check. But remember this option could take 7 to 14 business days to arrive. You can also set up auto pay in the app if you wanted to. And on the bottom you can see your rent payment history. Now here's a tip I tried. Out of me and my wife, I was the one who signed up for the built card. But I still signed up my wife for a regular account. So what I did to get extra points was I used my card to pay down most of the rent and left $1 for my wife to pay out of her checking account. Our rent is around $1,938 including utilities. So essentially we got 2,188 points. 1,937 points from paying rent using the built card plus 250 points from my wife paying rent. So if you're wondering about that, it works. Then on the main page of the app has a bunch of good read articles. They are really interesting on how to maximize your points. Also they post new updates like during Black Friday they were giving 5 times points on everything that wasn't rent. The next tab is the artsy fartsy built collection. Don't get me wrong it's cool but it's just not worth it in my opinion. After that tab is flights. You can book flights which will open a tab to book on American Airlines or Aeroplan. And this is a tab where you would want to link all your travel partnership accounts to transfer your points to. And for the first link of each program you'll get 100 points which is cool. Free points. And under that is just just some more articles. Next tab is the same as the flight tab but just for hotels. The final tab is the place to redeem your points for fitness classes if that's what you wanted to do with your points. And that's basically it for the built app. I've liked using it so far. It's clean and easy to use. I've had no issues so far. Now I'm just going to go over some last answers to some questions I've seen a bunch online. Can you pay multiple rents? You cannot. Only one place. Well if you want to earn points, only one place will actually earn points. Currently you cannot pay business rent. They might allow it in the future. Same with mortgage payments. And that's about everything you need to know about the bill card. So what are my thoughts since using it to pay for rent? I think it's very impressive for a no annual fee card. Honestly, if the travel categories were more open and instead of earning 1 point on everything, if the earning rates was 2 points on everything or even 1.5 points, this would be my daily driver card. I think this card almost blows most of the non-branded Chase credit cards out of the water, especially since they share very similar travel partners and have similar earning rates. However, one big issue I have with this card, which is also the same reason why this card was so quickly off the waitlist, is because as Wells Fargo became the leading bank for the built card. There are three banks so far I try to avoid if I can. They are Citi, Barclays, and Wells Fargo. I've had bad experiences with Citi and Barclay, but honestly, I've had no experience with Wells Fargo. I know they have a lot of bad press and their website is trash, so I've been trying to avoid them as much as I can. But I just couldn't pass up on this card because I'm earning an easy 26,400 points on my rent each year. That's a lot of points I couldn't afford to pass up. So we'll see what kind of experience Wells Fargo can give me. Another reason I like this card is the time it gives me. Normally paying rent takes the money straight out of your checking account, but with the built card you can use the available credit limit to pay your rent. And with the money you are going to use to pay rent, you can instead put it somewhere like a savings account to earn interest. Then just before the due date, take out the money and pay down the card. Thereby another way I can use the built card to earn more. Time is really valuable, remember that. And that's basically my take on the built card. A no brainer if you pay any kind of rent that is more than $250. But what do you think about this card and its benefits? Are you going to get this card? And just curious, how much are you all paying for rent. Also, I'm dropping my referral link below if you want to sign up for the card. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if this video helped you out, and I'll see you later.